Welcome back everybody and welcome if you are new today when the 305 sprint car is here at Eldora uh, ran a decent time in practice I was kind of in a lot of traffic too, so I know I can get into the eights I don't know how far into the eights, but hopefully we can run a quicker time in qualifying Passing here is gonna be very tough because it's just full throttle the whole time around You just have to keep the car straight mainly so you could run right along the bottom while it's clean like this because the track came in completely clean I'm going to actually run the outside the whole first lap to try to gain more speed because going into the first lap you don't have as much speed as you would on the second lap. As long as I don't screw it up, it should be fine. But really just try to put minimal steering into the car, get it down here, straighten it out, slowly go out to the wall. Same thing in three and four. A little bit more rounded though, instead of uh, like a sharper edge in the middle of the corner. And we ran a 9.48, not great. Still ran second currently, but most people probably haven't uh, ran their laps that were up there with me. I know the five car was in front of me and I think the two and the one were up there for practice times. Yeah, the two and the one were ahead of me. They have not ran their times yet. So currently we're second. Uh, still have a lot of people left to qualify because this is a pretty big field. One car actually only ran a 9.68 there. He might run faster in his second lap, not sure. But 14 people in this race should be uh, fun with a lot of people here. And there's no cautions, only 25 laps. But I'll pick it up when we're getting ready to go green. All right, well, we surprisingly stayed in second. Uh, the one car didn't get faster on his second lap, and the two car actually messed up his qualifying. It looks like he hit the wall or something because he had uh, no time for his second lap. So that helps us out a lot going to be a little rough start on the outside but hopefully we can have a good enough start and be able to hold like a lane higher from the bottom and keep our speed pretty well because that's going to be the main problem but the four car isn't here so we had to wait the whole time anyways and i think one other guy didn't qualify that was uh just some time wasted unfortunately and if you guys enjoy this kind of racing hit that like and subscribe button lets me know that you guys enjoy watching this as well and helps me out a lot I was gonna run the 358 modifieds because they're at where are they at? Dang it! I forgot. Oh, they're at Bristol. They're at Bristol. I was gonna run that, but I just ran those on the last race too, so I'll end up running that later in the week, anyways. That should be fun. I like Bristol a lot. Under it's it's very different from most of the other dirt tracks because even when it gets slick on the bottom, you could still run the bottom if you keep your car straight enough because there's so much banking. It's really odd. That's a lot of fun, just different, for sure. And hopefully we could run pretty well here. Especially with this track being completely clean. It's just going to be a bottom fest for the most part. It might move up the slightest bit to like mid-track, but it won't be too high. Not like we'll be all the way up at the wall or anything. It's only 25 laps. There's technically 13 cars in the race. We'll definitely tear up the bottom a decent amount. Maybe even tear up the middle a little bit. But it won't be too bad. But I'm happy with car number three as well. That's a, probably the lowest number I've been on dirt in a little while, which is funny. We have lot of, lost a lot this season, I feel like, on the dirt side for I-rating. But it hasn't gotten like too low. I'm still like mid-4100s or something like that, or close to 42. I'm not 100% sure. Close. Hopefully we can gain some back though in this race, being car number three. That would be nice. Because if we could get second or potentially win this thing, that'd be great. Or even get third, I'd be okay with that. Because the, uh, the number two car has a long way to go to get through the field to get to us. And everybody's just going to be full throttle. So mainly, just don't get too sideways. Try to stay out of any wrecks, because there definitely will be some wrecks. And just keep it straight, mainly. And keep the throttle down. I might actually be able to get by some people if I'm a lane up. If like everybody starts getting like bundled up on the bottom like an accordion. But no cautions since it's a D-class race, so you definitely don't want to end up in a wreck as well. Because then your race is just done for. You do have a fast repair, so you can remember that if you're in these races. If you end up wrecked, just get to the pits as quick as possible, get the fast repair, get back out there, try to not lose as many laps as you can. Wait on the leader. They didn't have a great start. The third place guy had a good start, but after that, nobody really started going. So I'll probably drop in into third place. 
outside. Actually, nope. Still on the outside a second. Clear. We can run just like a lane up. That'd be great. Thanks for running over me. Inside. Somebody already got wrecked. No problem, buddy. <laughs> the one car is up here, and he responded to that, which made no sense. He wasn't even near that. So we're going to fall back to fourth, which is unfortunate, because just because the bottom's so fast right now. You really just got to keep the car straight. And the shortest way around the track is going to be the fastest when everything's clean. See if we can get inside of them there. That was a good crossover. Clear, clear, clear. Got a little too sideways Outside. there, though. That I just went in so super low. Clear, clear. Ooh, one car got the wall there. Definitely don't want to hit your left front on that wall. Clear. Going full throttle. Good I'm getting too sideways in these clear. corners right now. I need to keep it straight. The back end's starting to kick out a little bit. Definitely a little bit of grip starting to come in. A little higher and try to take the advantage of that. See if we can catch second place here. Because you can definitely keep your car a lot straighter if you get your right sides in this dirt that's built up a little higher. Let's start pulling away from fourth a little bit now. You really sent it in there. My car did not turn that time. It just literally went straight, but it was pretty quick. The thing is, with the sprint cars, they get easier to drive the longer you drive them. Like, the less fuel they have in it, the easier it is to keep it straight. Because all the fuel is in the back end, and it just kicks you out early on. Not really in the 305s as bad, but in, like, the 410s and stuff, you feel it a lot more. Keeping pace with second place at the moment... Bottom lane is definitely starting to get a good line through it, which I figured would happen. They're battling side by side behind me. That should help us. But I knew that bottom lane would start to go away, and then a lane up would be the preferred line for the for now, at least. Until that starts to go away. Definitely don't want to get too far up this track, though. Because if you're going full throttle, you want to be at the lowest point you can while keeping your speed. It's interesting what the one did there. I think he's trying to do what the leader's doing. It's like going really low, sliding up through the slick, but trying to keep the car straight. It seems like that's what they're trying to do. I'm just trying to keep the speed up and not really slide at all. I'm trying to pay attention to the relative and see if I'm actually catching them. To me, it looks like I'm catching the one, just visually. Got a little sideways mid corner there. The entrance is definitely starting to get a lot wider, I could tell. Definitely pulled away from fourth a little bit, which is nice. I'm basically keeping pace with the top two right here. I feel like I'm catching the one the slightest bit, but hardly at all. Definitely going to be damn near impossible to pass. You're really going to have to get on the outside of somebody get a good enough run to be on the outside of them going into the corner because the more this track widens out the easier it will be to throw a slider like the more opportunity you'll have for sure we're definitely catching the leader both of us are second place is starting to run a little better now but we're definitely catching the leader it looks like try to run this line it just feels like you bog down a little bit, like going corner entrance. I don't like that, because these motors don't have too much power in them. I want to try to keep as much power in it as I can. Second place is definitely starting to catch first place a lot now. Because he's starting to pull away from me, and he's getting a lot closer to the uh, five car up there. Should be an interesting race at, towards the finish here. Actually, we only have five laps left, so maybe not be too interesting because this this race went by super quick. 25 laps here is very fast. Don't hit the wall. Don't screw oh, yourself. Oh, there's a lap car down here. 
That messed the leader up enough. Second place might end up getting to him towards the finish of this race. If he keeps running the way he's running, the leader keeps doing what he's doing. I think he's catching him like a tenth or a tenth and a half per lap, it seems like. It'd be interesting to see them get side by side. Maybe they'll get into each other and we could take advantage of it. I don't know. That's my only hope at this point, because they are very quick. If I didn't uh, lose all that time on the start, being on the outside, might have been a little closer to the number one car, but he started picking it up the last few laps. I'm just trying different lines, seeing what works. But we ran pretty well. I'm happy about this. I wanted to finish top three. That was the main goal. I don't know where the two is at. I'm really wondering, because he started super deep in the field, and it's really hard to pass. He was running all the way on this grip the whole time is faster. We ran a 15-189 last lap. Just trying to see what the fastest way around is later in the race. I told you we wouldn't get too far up the track. Ran middle. 1712, slightly quicker. Trying to stay in that the whole time. Where did the two finish? Good job, everyone. I had an absolute blast. I cannot wait to do it again. Great job, bud. I don't Good know what he just fella. said. Something about an app. Two car finished 10, so he finished real deep in the field. He started back there, finished back there. Frustrating for him, for sure, because he was definitely quick. Uh, let's go back to the very beginning. See the racing there off the start. I thought I was going to be able to slot in right behind the number one car, but the 12 car filled that spot super quick. Wasn't really able to get down quick enough. But it was a solid race overall. I thought I was going to be able to get in right here, but the 12 car had a good enough run. I didn't want to try to cut him off and wreck both of us. But with the track so new and clean, the bottom was just dominant at that point. And we really didn't get too much higher than what I'm running right now from the beginning of this race. We really didn't get much higher than that at all. But I had a really nice crossover on him. Where was it? That's, that's what got me around him, and then he just kind of fell back. Was it right here? Yeah, he slid up a little bit. I had a really good turn off on turn four. Side by side, going down the front stretch. I turned in a little bit too much here and got too sideways. He had a good run on the outside. I thought he was going to be able to get back, like, side by side with me and really battle me, but... He never really did. He got to my inside a couple times, but I wasn't trying to run right along the bottom because that's when it started to wear out. I was trying to stick like a little bit in the grip above it. That was a very fun race. Eldora is always like this though with the uh, smaller cars. Full throttle, very tough to pass. Usually good racing right off the, the start and then a lot harder later on. If you can get to the outside of somebody, that's usually how you end up passing. Yeah, right here is where the 12 kept getting to my inside, and I was just trying to run the grip, and I kept getting enough speed off the corners to start pulling away. And we'll go back and look at the incidents in one second. That was about it for the battle with us. But let's go back to lap one. And look at these incidents. Two car started a little bit further back. Oh, that's what the nine's complaining about, really? Like... Hang on. Let's look at this. The 9 was complaining. Hang on. Let me go to Chopper because I can see better. 9 car is really far out here. He runs over the guy in front of him. Gets on the brakes to not really completely run him over. And the 2 car doesn't have anywhere to go. So if the 9 car wouldn't have just slammed the brakes, none of that would have happened. But each their own, I guess. There's going to be a lot of tap in the wall, I assume. Oh, he ran over the back of the 11. Seven car avoided them. Nice. They get together here. Nope. They're running really close though. That's going to be, there's going to be a lot of that. Just like tapping somebody's back end or getting their side right there. I think the seven car ended up pretty wrecked. Actually, no, it was that white car. What the hell? Who was that? Eight car. Eight car got screwed out of that completely. Because they got together. Eleven car tried saving it. Eight car was just wrong place, wrong time. That's super unfortunate. All together. Yeah, it's just such bad timing. Such bad timing for him. 11 car. Is he going to try to get back at the 7 car? We'll see. This car might not be driving correctly either at this point in the race. We'll see later on if they end up... Uh... Oh, yep. Here they come. It, this is literally after the race. There was no other incidents. What was the last one? Like, what? when did that happen? 
That happened like mid race, I think. Oh no, that happened on lap 20 is when that happened. But 11 car came back, smashed into him after the race, which you can easily get protested for that and have suspended, uh, be suspended for a short period of time because there's no reason for it. But most people stayed pretty clean most of the race. Uh, we started second, fell back to fourth, got back up to third. 11 car tried to hit him again and he disappeared. Uh, but finishing third, I'm happy with that. We're car number three. Should gain a little bit of I rating because uh, finished our car number. So definitely should gain some, especially with a 14 car field. 13 raced, uh, nine car left towards the end. So the eight. So decent race overall. Let's go see what we end up getting. All right, results in strength of field was 23 28. It was a decent strength of field. I think it was two splits. Yeah, it was only two splits. Uh, car number five, he got out to a lead from the start. Nobody really ever caught him. The one car started catching him there towards the end, but uh, did just ran out of laps. If there was, if it was a 30 lap race, he might have caught him, but uh, unfortunately, it wasn't for him. It could have gotten interesting there at the end. Gained 23 I rating. I'm happy about that. At least we're starting to get back up there, gaining some at least because. For this whole season, I think I've only gained in two, maybe three dirt races this season so far. It's been a struggle. Because last week we won the limited race, this race, and then I can't even think of another one off the top of my head. So that's what I'm saying, two, maybe three, because we've lost so many uh, races like with Iran and just getting wrecked or just not doing well a lot this season, just having some bad luck. But this was a good race overall. Very happy with how it went. Uh, started second, fell back to fourth, finished third. Pretty solid overall. Uh, two car, if he would have started up front, he probably would have finished up front, uh, cause he was very fast in practice, but maybe he was just inconsistent. I don't know. Cause, uh, he hit the wall or something in his second lap of qualifying. So he lost a lot of iron. He was at 4,800 was in the car number one, just over 5,100 now. Damn. They were a lot higher than that was. So there was a very big gap from three. Where's car number four. I had about 800 on a gap to him. All right. No, 700. Cause he lost it so much. I probably had like a 650, 700 gap to fourth. So pretty big gaps between some people. But then uh, when it got further back, they definitely got closer. What was the lowest? 1300, not too bad overall. The second uh, split was probably a lot lower. So that could have been more of a mess. But overall, it stayed pretty clean up front uh, until it got back to the seven car and the 11 in them. They, they were getting together some, especially uh, after the race. That's probably where most of these incident points came from was after the race. So... Good race overall. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hope you guys enjoyed the race. Uh, let me know how your guys' races are going this week, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.